What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here reads Fire will fall if churches are shut down again. Bishop Oyedepo threatens. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. The General Overseer of Living Faith Ministries, Bishop David Oyedepo, has threatened that fire will fall if churches are shut down again in Nigeria. It will be recalled that the Nigerian government shut down churches due to the COVID-19 pandemic that has claimed several lives worldwide. Oyedepo in a statement said that if the government ever tries that again to shut down churches, that fire is going to fall. Now, uh, let's look at that statement and actually uh, x-ray the truth of it and actually look at it in the light of God's word. What does the Bible got to say? Now, a lot of people think that denominations are actually the church that Christ came to build. No, they are denomination. The church of Christ that Christ built consists of all believers around the world, irrespective of denomination. So I want to point that very clear, that the denominations you see, somebody could just wake up and just build a place and then start conversing for members to come. Doesn't make that place a church of God. Yes, sometimes they do refer to it as a local church. But in reality, the universal church of God cannot be shut down. The church is not a building. The church is not a place. But the church is a reality. Jesus says that the, the hour cometh, and now is the hour where the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. And then if you read in the book of Romans chapter 12 from verse 1, it says, Brethren, I beseech you by the mercies of the God that you present your body as a holy and living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable worship. Some translation, some translation says reasonable worship. Meanwhile, some translations say your reasonable service. Now, if you look at that very well, you discover that a true child of God is a career of God. God dwells in you. Now, if God dwells in you, it, you cannot be shut down. You can remember that during the COVID-19, you know, incidents when the church was shut down initially you could remember that um Oyedepo threatened very well and you know that anybody who tries to stop the church that person is going to be crushed and all of that but the lockdown persisted for a long time you get me it has persisted for a long time it's not only in nigeria but all over the world churches uh, were shut now um Oyedepo and Pastor Chris, you get me? These are the, the way they most, they were the two individuals that were very vocal against the closure of churches. They were so vocal to the extent that even Pastor Chris even likened the lockdown. The lockdown that occurred in Nigeria, they said they wanted to plant three, I mean 5G in Nigeria. That was how they had to, to shut down and went ahead to make a... Uh, um, some conspiracy theory, you know, a uh, statement because we call it conspiracy theory because 5G have not been proven to be the link with the coronavirus. The coronavirus was actually a disease. That was if you listen to the rebuttal by Matthew Shimolowo. Matthew Shimolowo said it's not the first time that disease will break out in the world. Disease have always been breaking out. You get disease are broken out even during the dark ages. You get and then during the 19th century where up to 50 million people died i mean the 19th just 100 years ago disease broke out they call it the spanish flu now a lot of people liken it that it was when they invented radio and all of that you know that was when uh it actually but uh let's look at it very critically disease have always been breaking out all throughout the world famine have always been breaking out disease there have always been an outbreak of disease that nearly threatens to wipe out a population of people but that's not what we are saying let's look at what 
Oyedepo is saying he's a highly respected person. I respect him too much, but it doesn't mean that um, everything he says is totally infallible and he is he always correct. No, it's only God that is infallible. As far as you are a human, you get me, you are fallible. You could make mistakes. Yes, you could make mistakes. Now, Oyedepo threatened the next time the church will be shut down, that fire will come down from heaven. If we extrude that statement in the light of God's word in the New Testament, you discover that there was a time Peter went to go and preach. He went to go and preach, and in that place he went to preach, where the disciples themselves with Jesus, they went to preach, and the people did not accept Jesus. Peter asked Jesus, Lord, should we call down fire from heaven on those people to destroy them? Jesus said, no, Peter. He said that you know not what spirit ye are of. The spirit that you are of will not permit you to do that. It's not going to permit you. There is a spirit that is actually working, that is at work in the New Testament. That spirit was not at work in the Old Testament. That was how you see Elijah could call down fire from heaven. Until today, it's such a pathetic thing that people say pray that pattern of Elijah's prayer. You could remember that even Stephen, when Stephen was being stoned, what did he say? He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. And in reality, they do not know what they do. Most of these people you see, they don't know what they do. Most of these government officials, they are being used by subtle forces. They are being used by the dark forces to foster an agenda. So they and themselves may not even know what they are doing. And that's why the Bible says, we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, but against power, but against, you know, demonic forces. That's what the Bible says. And Paul also says that there is a God in this world. He says, the children of this world are blinded by the God of this world. You see, so these people, it is not their fault. When Jesus prayed a prayer and said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Of a truth, those people did not know what they were doing. They didn't know what they were doing because they were being hijacked. They were being used. They were being possessed by subtle forces to fight the light. Okay, again, if you look at it very well, let's look at the incidents of Jonah to show you that this grace was still at work even in the Old Testament, though it didn't mature very well in the Old Testament. But it is in the New Testament, the reality of it was, you know, was fulfilled. That's why the Bible said the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. The law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. The Bible says that the law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus. You heard that? The law came by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus. So in the Old Testament, what we had were facts, were shadows. You get me? Were shadows, were symbols. But in the New Testament reality, the truth was revealed. Truth was revealed under the New Testament. So anything you are actually looking at from the Bible perspective, if you are not able to get the light under the New Testament interpretation, then you are having everything wrong because Old Testament is types and shadows. All right, in the in the old in the in the in the incidents of um of Jonah, when Jonah fled, remember Jonah was told to go to Nineveh. When he went to Nineveh, do you know what happened? God said, after God spared Nineveh. Jonah preached and God spared Nineveh. Jonah became angry. God told him, why were you angry? You were angry for the plant that just grew up for 24 hours and died. And you are even sorry for that plant. More than even Nineveh, the Assyrians, that have much, you know, human beings, much cattle and all of that. God said that, if you listen to that statement, he said, why would I not have mercy on the Ninevehs? He said, for they know not their left from their right. You see there, they know not their left from their right. That's what God told Jonah. These people know not their left from their right. So anything they are doing, they do not know what they are even doing. And that's why the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 5, if you read down from verse 12, the Bible says there were sins that were committed. There are some sins some people collect, committed. God did not lay their sin to their charge because they didn't know what they were doing. He never laid their sin to their charge. That's what the Bible says. 
The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 5, from verse 12, that is, I would say, God did not impute the trespasses of the world to them. He didn't, uh, 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 you know, he did not impute their trespasses. And what did, the, what did David say? David said the same thing too. Blessed is a man to whom the Lord imputed no trespass, to whom the Lord imputed no sin. And David also says that if the Lord shall impute sin, who shall stand? So what are we trying to say here? Jesus did not call down fire. The apostles did not call down fire. And as a matter of fact, if Stephen did not pray, Lord, forgive them for what they are doing. Do you think that, don't you think that if he had prayed according to the way Oyedepo prays today, fire should come down? Do you think that Apostle Paul would have been saved? Do you think that Apostle Paul would have been saved? He's the one that brought about the gospel to all the known part of the world. He took the gospel to all the Roman Empire as of that time. So what are we trying to say here? Um, respectfully, I would say Oyedepo here may not be completely right. If he says the fire should come down on the devils, you pray against the devil possessing these people, that should be a prayer topic. That will be understood. But if he says fire should come down on the people actually executing the law to lock down the churches, I would say it's wrong because in reality, of the, in reality, the church of God cannot be shut down. That is the truth, number one. The church of God cannot be shut down. Jesus said, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. The gate of hell has not prevailed for 2,000 years now. And this is the domain of Satan. This world is the domain of Satan. And Jesus says, Satan will not succeed in shutting down the, world, the, the church. Upon all the persecution the churches went through, it, we are not even facing persecution here. Go to the northern part. During the Roman Empire, we saw how the Christians were killed. As a matter of fact, Peter was killed, crucified upside down. Paul's head was beheaded. And all the apostles, all of them were killed except the apostle John that died a natural death. So I'll pray, I'll, I'll just stop here and I'll leave you the opportunity to drop your own comment. Do, do you think that Oyedepo is correct to have said that? A lot of us here, we are all born again. Are we to call down fire on human beings like us who are made in the image of God? Drop your comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much. God bless you for listening.